Hello. A speed back and a freeze dryer are commonly used instruments in a laboratory. Both the instruments are used to evaporate solvent, often water, from a solution containing proteins with some salts. In a lyophilizer, the solution is first frozen and placed in vacuum, which leads the water to evaporate into vapor phase. Sometimes, there is a risk that a protein may lose its activity upon freezing. Such solutions can be concentrated using a speed vac. In a speed vac, a solution is kept at room temperature and water is made to evaporate from it. That means the evaporation is from liquid phase to vapor phase. When samples are dried using a lyophilizer, being solid, they remain stationary and water keep on evaporating from the surface due to the applied vacuum. Whereas in a speed vac, the sample being liquid, there is a risk of them floating off. In order to prevent floating off, uh, the samples can be made to spin and the centrifugal force keeps the liquid samples in the tube and spill due to floating off is avoided. It is possible to use a lyophilizer as a speed vac, provided we have a mini centrifuge which can be fit inside the vacuum chamber of a lyophilizer. This is a centrifuge salvaged from discarded items and its 12 volt motor was working. Here, I am placing a mini centrifuge inside the chamber of a lyophilizer. Some electrical skill is required to wire and place the mini centrifuge inside the lyophilizer's vacuum chamber. Use thin wires to carry the required current for the centrifuge and place them neatly to cross the rubber gasket. Connect these wires to a proper voltage source in order to avoid any risk of electrical shock. Never use a centrifuge's motor which runs on AC mains. After wiring, place the centrifuge and confirm that upon switching on power, its rotor is rotating. And we are ready to go. First, start the cooling of the lyophilizer's condenser and when it reaches minus 30 degrees Celsius, Place the tubes containing liquid samples in the centrifuge. Do not close the lid of the tubes. You may cover them with parafilm with holes. Ensure that the rotor is properly balanced. Place the loaded centrifuge in the lyophilizer's vacuum chamber and start the spin. Typically, mini centrifuges have rotor speeds between 2000 to 10,000 rotations per minute. After ensuring that rotor is rotating, switch on the vacuum of the lyophilizer. There could be some leakage of vacuum due to the wiring of centrifuge and vacuum pump may not attain deep vacuum. A vacuum to the order of 100 to 1000 micron of mercury is perfectly alright for a speed vac to evaporate approximately 50 to 100 microliter of water from six microcentrifuge tubes in one hour.